people ask me how one puts together a routine of magic like you've seen on stage this evening, well, we're going to show you. It all begins with this simple idea and some simple props. Now, like anything else, when you learn an art form, you start at the beginning. For example, you want to take piano lessons and start off by learning Beethoven's Concerto Number 5, and magic's no different. You want to start off by learning how to saw someone in two, explaining why so many magicians have half-sisters. You begin with some simple props, like a tube, a table, and some step stools. You can then use those items to create your first magic effect, such as using the tube to make one foot vanish. Now remember, this is just your starting point. You can build up to something else as you practice for, such as making the other foot vanish. Now I realize either one of those on their own isn't all that impressive, but when you combine the two together, well, that's when you have some magic. Now the magicians that have really left their mark in the world of magic are the ones that took an idea and made it their own, put their own unique creative twist on it. For example, instead of having no feet like you just saw, I could have women's feet. <laughs> if you like that, watch this.